Welcome back. We're discussing the growing problem of homelessness on Guam with Jeffrey Mendiola, who represents Guma Mami, and Anna Marie Kenny, who represents the Oasis Empowerment Center. And we're continuing our focus now on the work of Guma Mami again with Jeff. Uh, Jeff, first of all, how is Guma Mami subsidized? Who pays for this? Um, Guma Mami, we are locally funded. Um, we are a contract agency of the Department of Integrated Services for Individuals with Disabilities. So basically, they services that they can't provide are contracted out to Gumamami. All right. Now, what help can you use most from people out there in the community for um, Gumamami, being that it's you know it's partially subsidized by the government? Uh, what's the best way that people in the community can help out? I think you know we have a lot of activities that go on, and a lot of times it's the same people coming around, people who have been active in the community or in the in Gumamami's activities. So I think just, you know, open up, try it out. It's something different, you know, and see what, um, see what, t you know, I just say come out, you know, come and when we have activities, come out. We don't, you know, funding is one thing, but we don't always need funding. Sometimes we need people just to be out there and, you know, be, fr be friends with the consumers, you know, mm -hmm. make them feel good about themselves. That's what we need. Yeah, definitely. You know? mm -hmm. That's... Well, I understand that clients learn important job skills at Google Mommy that enable them to be more independent. Now, how do you guys go about doing that, helping people gain their independence? <laughs> with this, I, you know, one thing that I believe and a lot of us at Google Mommy believe is the focus with our consumers is it's put too much on their the challenges that they face not on their abilities you know a lot of our our individuals in our programs they're with the right support they can be pretty independent you know if given the right support and the right opportunities but unfortunately a lot of times they're seen as an individual with a disability who we need to help we got to help this person because they, you know, and it's not always like that. A lot of them actually, if given the right opportunity, they would excel in the mm -hmm. community. It's just a matter of, you know, getting that. So do you think that's part of the reason why uh, sometimes they're not so independent is maybe because they've been sort of babied their whole lives or people have always tried to do things for them because they don't think they can do it for themselves and never been given that opportunity? Personally, <laughs> Yes, I do. So, you know, some of them do tell me, you know, when we talk and it's like, you know, you don't have to sit here with me. I can, but, you know, they, when we're working with other agencies, they want to make sure that this person understands. And it's like, you know, ma'am, they, they do understand. Mm -hmm. Or sir, they do understand what they're doing. So it's, I, I do believe it's partly, at least partly due to that. It's not not allowing them to, you know, not treating them like everybody else in the community mm -hmm. is what it comes down to. All right, now, in your opinion, what can the people of the community of Guam do to end homelessness on Guam completely? Okay. Well, I was thinking about this on the way up. You know, a lot of times it goes back to more funding, more, you know, resources, more. And I, I think that would be helpful but overall I think the one thing that would probably work work best is when you see these you know these individuals in the community don't focus on their abilities you know see the people behind the challenge see you know know that they are just as capable you know if you give them the right opportunity in the right setting, they will excel. Mm -hmm. You know, um, as I was out there today, and I was thinking, if ever we did get into a disaster situation on Guam, these people who are considered homeless are the ones who are going to survive, because they they don't rely on the comforts that we have with our TVs and our air conditioners mm -hmm. and our microwave ovens. You know, I saw them out there cutting wood so they can cook breakfast. Wow. You know, and. To me, that was really amazing, really amazing, you know. They are not any less than 
everybody else they're just the same they're human you know they're people just like we are and they make a living every day exactly you know? well we'll just uh, stick around we'll be back stay tuned to koem news extra as we expound on in our interview by understanding the role of the oasis empowerment center and what it does for guam's homeless <laughs> 